Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike Portnoy Plays Mega Hero Abyss. Today, we're going to be making our way out of the Great Hollow and finding a new territory. You know, this is the area that piqued my entrance last episode, but we never got to explore it. You know this area? It's in Allendale. You know Allendale? That's the town we're from. I'm starting to get the hold of this game, I think. And all this story and video game stuff. It's a lot like progressive rock. Or more formally known as Prague. You know what I'm a part of? I'm a part of a Prague band. You know what's so cool about Prague? The cool thing about Prague is that it can do anything. You can let your soul out. But more importantly, it's my drumming. In every Prague song, you find my drumming. And if the song doesn't have my drumming, then what's the point of listening to it? That's how I think about it. But anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your answers down in the comments below. Do you think I'm a good drummer? If you say I'm not a good drummer, then in five days, do not look out your window. Because you'll see Mike Portnoy. That's me. And you know what you'll say to What you'll say to Nothing. But you know what he'll say to you? Eat my ass and balls. Jump scare. I just got jump scared. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. And what Five Nights at Freddy's is? I won't tell you. Because I'm like poor. I don't even know what but Five Nights at Freddy's is. To be quite frank. What is this? A broken eye? Let's use it. No victims found. What am I doing? I'm making him eat my ass and balls. Get on, loser. Get on. You know who this is? This is John Maya invading me. You know, I hate agents. I really do. And I never liked him young. I never liked him very much at all. But you know what's so good about me? I'm Mike Portnoy. I'm young and Asians stand no damn chance. Get on, fart sniffer. Target destroyed. Just like what I would want to do to Asians, like John Mill. You know, he wasn't that good at bass anyway. They call him the spider. You know what they call me? Eat my ass and balls, Mike Portnoy. Poison. So this is calling me impure too. That's questioning my Jewish faith. But you know, I don't have much of a Jewish faith. I'm an atheist. What? John Young, you imposter. Someone needs to show you what you're made of. I'm putting on armor once and for all. What is going on? You can't do that, you twink. Get over here. You know something about you? I don't like your rice maker that you brought to our studio back in when we were making Metropolis Part 2. You know what I'm going to do to you, John Myung? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flee because I don't like you. You know how I do like, though? I like James LeBree. I wish James LeBree was here. Now, it's time to face off against the King of Hollows. How do I know this? I don't. I just guessed. Because I'm like point like. Oh! I'm quite good at this game. And I've been practicing a lot. I killed the boss idol in the name of God. And I can do this too. It's really no big deal for me. What on earth was that? You cuck. 
Someone needs to teach you a lesson. How about a drum lesson? What the hell was that? He can't handle the point noise stink. That's what I call my drumming. You know what we need to do? We need to get stronger. How do we get stronger? We go somewhere else. We go somewhere else in the game. I know a lot about gaming now. And when you can't overcome obstacles, you have to try something else. It's a lot like real life. You know, there was this obstacle in life. I wanted to make The Metropolis Part 2 by Dream Theater. But you know, the record labels were like, no. Nah. So you know what I had to say to them? I had to say, get over it. And because of that, we made Metropolis Part 2. And it was a smash hit. You know, the best part about Metropolis Part 2 is Dance of Eternity by Dream Theater. You know how that song goes? Something like that. You know what's so special about Dance of Eternity? Well, it's a nightmare of music. And that's so cool. You know what else is a nightmare? A nightmare to remember. Eat my ass and balls, you gook! Okay, anyway. Someone needs to teach us John Young a lesson. You know what? You know who's responsible for that? Me. Good luck, Young. Yeah. You're gonna wait? This is what you get. This is what you get. Come on, Young. Come on. Show me what you got. You know, this reminds me of that one Dream Theater song. A view from the top of the world. You see me right now? I'm at the top of the world. And I'm viewing John Young. A.K.A. Fart Sniffer Forever. You know what I need to do to him? I need to do some drumming. Let's do this. Get out of here. Nigga. You are terrible at this game. Get on so hard. Get on so hard. You deal no damage to me. What is your problem? You know what you remind me of? You remind me of that one Haken song. Haken Visions. From the album Visions. When I hit the gong at the end of it. You're like that gong, and I'm like the drumstick that hit the gong. You just got owned so hard. What is with these guys? Alright, guys. We need to find out where we're going. Because. We need to find the view from the top of the world. And to get there, we'll need to work for it. Quite frankly, there's not much more to say. You know, this reminds me of one story that I have with my buddy, Neil Morse. What the hell, dude? You know, 
this reminds me of one story I have with my buddy Neil Morse. You know what Neil Morse said to me? I don't remember many things he says. I don't have a very good memory. But you know what I do have? I have drum chops. Few other people do. Peace, we feel invaded once again. You know what you should say to that man in the comments down below? Type with all capitals G O O K and then four exclamation marks. Four of them exactly. Please type that down in the comments if you made it to this point in the video. Call that John Myung a gook. You know what I need saying right now? Eat my ass and balls. Get out of here, Myung. You've got owned too hard now. What the hell, dude? There we go. You know what I'm saying to this man? Next time I see you in the Dream Theater studio, I hope you bring your fists. Because I'm going to beat you with my fists into the ground. And you'll never be able to play again with Dream Theater. In fact, I'll replace you as a bassist. Have you ever seen my bass skills? You know, that brings up an interesting topic. Bass. Have you guys ever caught a big bass when you're fishing? I fish often. I'm a huge fishing fan. I have some great angling feelings. Like that one caper song from the album Angling Feelings. I'm a huge caper fan. You know, my buddy Royna Stolt is in caper. And he makes some great music. He just really does. You know, I love my buddy Royna. You know what I love more? I love America. And everything it stands for. You know what that brings to mind though? America by pain of salvation. You know what that brings to mind? No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There we go. You thought, nigga. What's so cool now about you? Game, I'm smarter than you. Simple as that. I'm Mike Portnoy. You know my IQ score? I don't know either. Because I've never got my IQ tested. You know, we need to teach this young lesson. We're going to take it once and for all with him. Cook, get your ass to the Coliseum. That's exactly what we're going to say to him. And you know what we're going to do to him in that Coliseum? We're going to show him who's the better bassist. You know how I'll do that? We'll turn his body into string cheese and play him like a bass. Because that's what Mike Portnoy do. Let's do this. We'll be raiding for you. See you in episode 4.